Hey guys, join us for our next intake on June the 8th for our amazing 12-week cannabis and hemp course. Our course covers growing cannabis, medical cannabis, the whole supply chain of the cannabis industry, as well as sustainability and wellness, and also includes a four-week internship at a cannabis company. In 12 weeks, our students get exposed to 35 lecturers and three industry excursions, ensuring that they can build a network to help them enter the industry. Our students spend Fridays out at the beautiful jazz farm in our grow tunnel and permaculture areas, and our campus has a state-of-the-art indoor grow facility. There is nothing like this course anywhere on the planet, guys. So enroll now to join an industry of passion and purpose. So we have a, a surprise today, and I'm very happy. I'm very grateful. Uh, this young lady came and met us as a family, and she bought us a gift. She bought us a very lovely gift. Matter of fact, I'm going to just introduce you to everybody. Oh, shout out to all the beautiful people out there, all the members, all the subscribers. We love and we appreciate all the support, family. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special guest in the building today. <laughs> And we thank you so much, yes. the one and only Faith here in Lusaka, Zambia. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for the Mukeke. Yes. The Mukabuka. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We were, I, you know, my husband, we were looking for Mukeke, couldn't find it. And she saw some, one of the videos and was like, look, I can get with KK, can I bring it, to bring it to you? And we were like, yes! Because <laughs> she brought us a bag of um, KK today. We want to say thank you so much. That was so sweet. She's so yeah. nice. And um, it is a pleasure meeting you. And uh, she's so genuine and just so nice, so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> pleasure yeah. meeting you. So you were born and raised here in Osaka? Yes, I was born and raised here in Osaka. Ah. Montero. Montero. How far is it from this area? Um, it's right behind the stadium, Hero Stadium. Oh, okay. hey. yeah, far. Yeah. <laughs> you like going towards it's a nice side of nice area too. Yeah, you like yeah, going yeah. towards the rural side yeah. of town. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. Yeah. Hero Stadium is so big. Oh it's my so goodness. Big. Woo! Oh. Never been inside. Okay. It is huge. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So like yeah. what kind of functions are in the Hero Stadium? Like what's inside there? Um there's a football beach and a running truck. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do they let people like everyday people just kinda come in and use the truck? I'm not so sure. I'm but sure. if you want to use the truck you can go to OIDC. OIDC. Okay. okay. Olympic okay. Youth Development Center. Wow. Mm. Let's check that out. Everything. There's a tennis court. Wow. Everything. Wow. All sports. Oh my goodness. Nice. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Look. <laughs> Just after the stadium. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
And the machine, when it comes out, when it's done, it's like this. It's really, uh, really thick. We have to roll it. And our hands are clean. We have to put, wash our hands. Um, and you just grab up some of the uh, veggies and eat it like this. Veggies mm. good. Mm. Mm. I love okra. I eat okra back home. No, they prefer it, but I love it. Um, I got a little um, peppers and onions, little chili flakes, and um, salt and pepper. I pan fried it. And to get the uh, sliminess, I take that away. It's a bone. Um, just sprinkle a little bit of lime juice over the okra as it cooks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have the buka buka here. And, um, you know, a lot of people say that this is the same as bukeke. So I'm about to taste it. But um, as I taste this, this is very good. The KK and Burundi, and this one, they have two different kind of tastes, and it could be because these are lots uh, smaller. I think this is the season where the uh, these kind of fish, the KK or Buka Buka, are small, and then there's a season where they do have them big. But these smaller ones have a different taste to them. Um, they're still good though. Good, nothing twisted. They're still good, family. Yeah. You say like these are the same thing as uh, the mukeke? It's good, but it has a different taste. Uh -huh. You know mukeke when you taste it. Um, so I think these are, are different. Um, the actual area of the Kangnika is different. So I'm thinking this, you know, they carry different types of fish mm -hmm. or different types of fish live in different areas of the lake. That's a massive lake. Um, this is yeah, it's good, but it's different. Yeah, yeah, this is different, but it's good. It has a different taste. But I would say that the meat on the inside looks very similar to the yeah, yeah. though. It's like that grayish kind of grayish kind of white meat. Mm -hmm. yeah. These are much smaller though. Yeah, it's definitely the same fish because you can tell by how the bones are laid in there, and it's the same fish. Yeah, it definitely is. So how how is uh, the difference between the buka buka and mukeke? Even though I had it like every day, mm. I kind of barely can tell the difference. I'm not even going to lie. Okay. Really? It's good. Mm. 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 I can't tell. Right, so how was it cooking your first Zambian meal here in Zambia? It was interesting. Um, enjoyed it. Uh, a lot of work, not easy. But um, it's it, the shim, I think, is always the toughest part because you got to do that stirring. Your hand might get a little tired, but I mean, it gets thick. So the thickness of it is what makes it a little difficult, but it's always good to have the enchima uh, paired with other things like, um, I always loved okra, okra, I grew up eating okra, but the okra, the greens, that was enjoyable. Those are some things I like, we love veggies. And the fish, the buka buka, so um, that was um, that was baked and then fried, so we get the skin a little bit crispy, but um, yeah, very good. Cool. Came out nice. Yes. You guys enjoy it? The I did. As you can see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so make sure if you want to get in contact with us, make sure you hit us up on Instagram at unapologetic underscore nomads. You can also hit us up on our um, on our website at www.unapologeticnomads.com. And that's if you need a consultation or anything else. We off we uh, offer a couple services on there, so make sure you check that out. Yes. And follow me on Instagram at ALA underscore T-H-E underscore artist if you want art or anything like that. And I will give you a price quote. But if you want anything else other than art, don't contact me because that is a business page. Thank you. You can hit me up at Mickey Baraka on Instagram. And um, yeah. Yes. And 
uh, also if you need uh, advertising for your business, your invention, your book, anything you have, we do have packages, like my husband said, for those um, things as well on our website, unapologeticnomads.com. Yes. Yes. So we also want to thank Faith again for getting us that Booka Booka fish. We really do appreciate that. That was very nice. And we all enjoyed the fish. Thank you so much, Faith. Yes. Thank you very much, Faith. Thank you again, sister, for coming through with the fish. Thank you.